Hey everybody, welcome back to my fast API tutorial. Before starting this part, I would remember that you can find file of this part in my GitHub repository mkfast. I'll leave it this address in my uh, description below. Um, please subscribe my channel. Okay. Uh, now, in this part, I'm gonna talk about Pydanic. Pydanic is a Python validator uh, library, uh, and uh, in Fast API we had uh, one file that name is uh, that name was uh, schemas. In schemas file we created a, a Pydanic class uh, such as base model. We use uh, Pydanic class such as base model and create val validator class. Uh, but in this part, we're gonna talk more about it and uh, revise uh, some uh, API, our uh, specifically uh, our comment API. We had uh, two different comment API, such as comments, uh, uh, creating comments, and get detail post. Uh, but in this part, uh, we only uh, change or validate creating comment. Okay, uh, go ahead. As I said, uh, we use schemas file as validator file. Uh, in this part, uh, we create a validator class for our uh, comment, uh, for creating comment and for getting a response comment. We create a comment base class for uh, as uh, creating comment validator and uh, also we uh, create another class that name is uh, uh, comment list uh, that, that validate our uh, response. Okay, let's go. First we create comment base class as a validator for creating a comment we use base model from our pydanic for validate to validate our comments for creating comment, we need only three different uh, fields. Uh, name, email, and another field that we want is uh, um, body, body of that comment. Okay, name, we validate name by a string and body by string and also we use in this part email as a string but pydonic has another package for another uh, field that is uh, email type field you can use that uh, uh, type for better uh, validation uh, but in this part we only use a string validator for our email okay another validator class is comment list class that it use for that it use for response uh, inherit from comment base class then uh, we want Three different. Uh, we want also three different uh, uh, field, uh, more than uh, name, e body, and email of uh, email. Uh, we need ID, created date, and uh, post ID uh, for uh, response model. For doing this, after inherit from comment base, we had id that validate with integer we also have post id 
that it also validate by integer and for the last we have created date that it is optional field that by default that uh, validate by date time field the, and is default value it has a default value that equals to body nouns it's not uh, we need to import body from fast api class okay date time is equal we replace parentheses with brackets okay that's fine uh, we also because because a comment list is uh, used for uh, we, we use comment list for uh, our response model uh, for response of our API then we should activate our ORN mode for doing this We use config class and ORM mode equals to true. Okay, now we create two different validator class comment base validator and comment list validator that inherit from comment base. Okay, that's fine. Now we're in uh, crude.py file. Uh, we should replace post ID, name, body, and email. Uh, excuse me. Name, body, and email with our schemas. Uh, this is created comment then we use uh, comment base schemas we use comment base schemas like that okay we also replace it in database comment attributes we get it as a dictionary we get comment as a dictionary now uh, we create uh, we replace our field with a validator file or validator class uh, in crude file now we should replace it in our api in main.py file let's go ahead okay now we're in uh, main.py file we need to change uh, create comment api in main.py file then uh, we first we add response model that we get from comment list we use response model uh, to get a specific pattern of response for our comment okay we also 
remove name, body, and email and replace it by our comments that we get from Eskimos comment base. We also replace it in this part. Okay. Okay, let's try our API. For doing this, first we activate our virtual environment. After that, we run Unicorn. Okay, now we'll go to our fast API document and create comment API. Try it with some post ID such as number two, some name such as string, body something such as string, email replaced by string at sign yahoo.com and execute. We get 200 status code and that's fine it works uh, for better realization of how uh, to work uh, pydanic uh, let me change our schemas field for example we replace a string by integer now let's run this again and now Again, we use string our, as our name and a valid mail, then execute. As you can see, we get 422 uh, status code and we get message about what's going on. Uh, for example, in this part is say about a uh, value is not a valid integer. After we replace by integer, uh, we get we get this error. Okay. Replace it with a string again, and that's fine. Okay, in this part, uh, we learn that uh, what is Pydanic and how to use Pydanic uh, library in Fast API. Uh, thank you for watching my.